Before its launch, James Webb Space Telescope was hailed as a revolutionary telescope. Now that it is operational, we are going to take a look at some of the most interesting ways in which it is successfully revolutionizing astronomy. Number 1. Providing a deeper look into the past and the fall. The more powerful the telescope, the better it can view the rare photons from the farthest galaxies in the cosmos and the 21-foot primary mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope is the largest of any space telescope. However, this only accomplishes part of the task at hand, because light from objects with increasing radial distance is redshifted. Because of the accelerating expansion of the cosmos, the light from distant galaxies is stretched and shifted toward redder wavelengths as it travels nearer Earth. When light from the most faraway galaxies, that are also the oldest galaxies we can observe, travels to Earth, it has been redshifted into the near-infrared. Because of this redshift, Webb Telescope was developed to focus on near- and mid-infrared wavelengths of light. Its enormous mirror and infrared vision have allowed astronomers to glimpse more distant, early galaxies than ever before, and this has the potential to completely reshape our knowledge of galaxy formation. Number 2. Determining what illuminated the universe. After the Big Bang, but prior to the formation of stars and galaxies, the universe was dark and enveloped in a neutral hydrogen gas haze. Ionization of the fog occurred as a result of exposure to light, specifically UV radiation. But the question remains, from where did that first light emerge to dispel the gloom of the cosmos? Young star-filled galaxies, or active, supermassive black holes, with surrounding accretion disks of blazing hot gas and tremendous jets, are what astronomers think produced the light. The topic of which came first, galaxies or their black holes, is one of the greatest mysteries in cosmology, a type of chicken away quandary. The early galaxies detected by Webb Telescope are surprisingly bright and well-structured, with clear disks surrounding boulder centers that are already populated by stars. It's possible that supermassive black holes were already present in these early galaxies, which is supported by this feature, but it's still unclear how rapidly they originated. Thankfully, Webb Telescope is built to find the answer to this issue, and when it does, it will offer a crucial piece to the puzzle that comprises the early universe. Number 3. Webb Telescope Evaluates the Exoplanet's Atmosphere Although astronomers have discovered more than 5,000 exoplanets thus far, we still know very little about many of them. Although Webb Telescope is not built for finding new exoplanets, it will be able to undertake transit spectroscopy, which will allow for considerably more accurate depictions of already discovered worlds. When a planet crosses in front of its star, molecules in the atmosphere absorb some of the star's light, leaving black lines in the star's spectrum which is a barcode-like breakup of light by wavelength. Astronomers can learn about a planet's formation and evolution, environmental conditions, and chemical processes by studying its atmosphere, if any atmosphere exists. Initial results were encouraging. James Webb Space Telescope initially found carbon dioxide on WASP-39b, 700 light-years away. Astronomers found carbon dioxide carbon monoxide, potassium, sodium, sulfur dioxide, and water vapor in WASP-39b's atmosphere. This is the most complete examination of an exoplanet's atmosphere. Number 4. Web Searches for Life and Habitability Indicators Exploring worlds like WASP-39b is fascinating, but finding another Earth-like habitable planet is one of the holy grails of exoplanet science, and Webb Space Telescope is perfectly positioned to characterize these alien worlds. The aforementioned findings of WASP-39b fits well for future research of the seven rocky planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, which orbits a red dwarf star 40.7 light-years from Earth. These four planets are in the star's so-called habitable zone, where temperatures are stable enough for liquid water to exist on the surface. Under the correct conditions, these worlds may be habitable. Easy targets like TRAPPIST-1C are Webb Telescope's first targets. 
Models predict this planet has a carbon dioxide rich atmosphere like Venus. Trappist 1C is certainly too hot to sustain life as we know it, but determining if it has an atmosphere and if that atmosphere includes carbon dioxide will be a crucial step toward defining Earth sized worlds. It's a huge job which will require 100 hours of Webb Telescope observation time in its first year. Webb Telescope could widen its hunt for habitable planets after verifying Trappist 1C's habitability. Astronomers hunt for evidence of life, such as planets' methane oxygen atmosphere. Since photochemical reactions lead to carbon based molecular synthesis, its identification in WASP 39B's atmosphere is also significant. Number 5. Webb Telescope researches cosmic chemistry and the evolution of galaxies. Some stars survive for billions of years, but the others explode in a supernova or evolve to form a red giant that blows off its outermost layer into space. In both cases, stars spread heavy cosmic dust into space. Galaxy mass, star formation rate, and chemical abundances are related. Any departures from this relationship observed at high redshifts may be interpreted as evidence that galaxies underwent distinct evolution paths in the early cosmos. It wasn't until the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope that astronomers were able to accurately determine the abundances of several elements in distant galaxies older than around 11.5 billion years. How prevalent these heavy atoms were previously is a mystery and Webb Telescope star formation and mass holds for galaxies with redshifts as high as 8, although their quantity of heavier elements is three times less than expected. This disparity shows galaxies and stars originated more rapidly than previously thought before sufficient stellar generations died out and dispersed their elements throughout the cosmos. Number 6. Webb Telescope directs its attention to the solar system. Webb Space Telescope was originally designed for interstellar exploration, but it has also been beneficial for spying on Earth's nearest neighbors due to Jupiter's frequent orbital fluctuations and great brightness. Astronomers didn't know what to expect when Webb Telescope was aimed at it. Scientists feared Jupiter's brightness would overpower Webb Telescope's sensitive detectors and conceal fainter objects. Webb Telescope images show Jupiter's weak rings, moons, atmospheric bands, and auroras. By analyzing Jupiter's cloud tops in near and mid-infrared light using Webb Space Telescope's large mirror, astronomers can see how deep the clouds go. This telescope imaged Neptune, Titan, and Mars. Its image of Mars shows temperature fluctuations and CO2 absorption. It will explore Mars to detect delicate gases like seasonal methane plumes. Number 7. Webb Telescope is instructing us on star formation. The Eagle Nebula has light-year-long pillars of creation. Their star nurseries. Webb Telescope re-imaged the pillars of creation in near and mid-infrared light with stunning results. New perspectives aren't only attractive pictures. Webb Telescope's infrared vision can identify knots of molecular gas about to collapse into newborn stars inside the pillars. As these stars aged, they began to destroy the pillars. It has produced one of the most detailed examinations of a protostar, L1527, and how it reacts with molecular gas accumulating onto it, causing outbursts that clear out two gaps in the butterfly-shaped nebula. Before Webb Telescope, dust blocked youthful starlight. Older infrared telescopes could see huge pictures, but not specifics of what's happening. And now, the Webb Telescope can detail star formation mysteries. Number 8. Webb Telescope altered the design of space telescopes. Webb Telescope's launch was expensive and time-consuming. It was years late and billions over budget, but its groundbreaking design has changed space telescopes. The telescope's huge golden primary mirror, produced by unfolding 18 hexagonal parts, was marvelous engineering. The time and effort put into developing and constructing the telescope will yield dividends in the form of both the breakthrough scientific discoveries 
it will make and the ways in which it will influence the design of future generations of huge space observatories. The creation of a big optical and ultraviolet telescope to eventually replace Hubble is ranked as the highest priority project in the US National Academy's decadal assessment on the astrophysics objectives over the next decade. This telescope's 26-foot mirror diameter is only possible with Webb Space Telescope's segmented architecture. If your telescope is too large to fit within the rocket's fairing, you can fold it up like the James Webb Space Telescope and send it into space. We may credit this amazing telescope for any findings made by future space telescopes. With the advancement of time, there's still a lot more to expect from James Webb Telescope. Let me know down in the comments what thoughts are going inside your mind after watching the video. Also, if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be the first to watch our newly uploaded video. Thanks for watching guys, do check out these videos to get your mind blown.